Grandma, tell us about the night that was. Did you come into this night thinking there was a chance you'd take 2D, or did it just work out this way? Well, we always talk about taking the best player available, and, and uh, you know, those, those were the guys that we thought were the best best guys at the time, and and that's that's the philosophy we always stick to, and I think we got two really good defensemen, and you never have too many of them. Yeah. Um, just, I guess, go with each player. Your check is a physical shutdown type guy. Do you envision him as a guy that fits perfectly with Borinsky when he's ready to play in the NHL? That could be. That's definitely his upside. I mean, and he has some offense to his game, too. So, you know, it's pretty much unprecedented what he's done at his age in the Czech League and, and played in the Men's World Championships and played, played good. I was there myself, watched, watched him play in the Men's World Championships, and he was really, really good. So. Um, you know, he's six foot four. He's got a great frame to him. He's got great attitude. We love his character. His compete and, and the skill level as well. So you know, we're extremely happy to get him. Matichuk, the way that he skates and moves and control a game, is it similar to Sillinger this year? And not players, of course, but just in the sense that you're sort of crossing your fingers and hoping he's still there when you when you come up on the board. Yeah, I, I think that uh, you know some people see him maybe as a small defenseman we don't at all he's, he's i don't know if he's 5 11 or 5 five, ten and a half but he's thick he's strong he's he, he's competitive he's, he's he's been dominant in the games that we watched and our scouting staff can talk about him more but but uh you know you look at his stats he's a point per game defenseman in the western hockey league and, and assistant captain already at that age and I, I think there's a great future ahead of him yeah what are your plans i guess short term for these guys or one from Czech? Uh, both from overseas, do you see them staying over there for another year, or have you thought that far ahead yet? Uh, yeah, no, uh, not really. They're both going to come to development camp uh, after this draft, and, and uh, you know, I think Giri Cech plans to play in the World Junior, even though he already played in the Men's, men's World Championships. We hope that the uh, same thing happens with Matejcik and, and uh, for Canada, but uh, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, evaluate him as we go here. We have our options open, and, uh, and uh, you know, I think that's that's the biggest job for us right now is to evaluate what's what what the best place for us for them. And obviously, Canadian junior players, if they don't make the team, they need to be returned to their team. But but with Yuri Check, we can do um, as we see what's best for them. You know, if the best thing for him is to play in Czech Republic or Czech Czechia next year, yeah. then then we'll send him there. If we think he's, he's uh, he makes our team, he makes our team. But but if American League's the best best place for his development, then we'll do that. So, but we got lots of time to evaluate that, and, and we will, and, and we'll make those decisions when we have to. Matejcik has at least another year left in Mushov, if, if that's what's best for him. Well, I, th I you know, he's he's a uh, straight 0-4, uh, so he, yeah. you know, with the junior rules, he has to make our team and. Uh, you know, next two years otherwise he needs to be returned so um yeah that's 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 not a problem at all yeah. you, uh, we talked yesterday it sounded like a lot of interest in your picks obviously you know with the possible trades and whatnot now, how much debate had to go into it you know when it got down to the point where you were it was the fifth pick or whatever did you guys know that you were going here and check or be kind of debate um, we always view, we look at the options, way and see what the uh, what the best option available in front of us is. Now, one 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 conversation that I think convinced us to to make the picks was that you know imagine if we traded 12th pick overall last year and, and Cole Sillinger ends up playing for somebody else and and we get a player that's yeah it's a good good NHL player but might not have the upside that we feel that Cole Sillinger has now for us. So. That, that's the uh, the great upside that the young guys have when when you draft them at the age of 18. They they uh, they can take a huge jump, which is, I think Cole Sillinger is a perfect example of that. And that's what we hope with these two guys is that uh, you know because they're young and they, they can take those big huge steps in their development in the next couple of years. That there's a there's a high ceiling for their potential. Whereas if we got a player that's already played a couple two three years in the NHL. You know, there, there could still be some development, obviously, but but the upside might not be as big. Yeah, you um, mentioned just two minutes ago. Obviously, like a lot of people, when you have good defensemen, you have a lot of them. You can't have enough of them. Um, can you though? I mean, like, if you, like, like, it, does it get to a point where you, where you feel like, okay, we, we've got to, we got to go in a different direction, like maybe tomorrow, that kind of thing? Well, or? If you have too many good defensemen, that's going to be 31 teams calling us. 
Uh, so that'll give us a lot of options in all the other areas. And it creates like an internal uh, competition. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, that too. But if, if there's if there's too many of them, and other teams see that we have too many guys that could be good NHL players, and they don't all fit in our roster, they'll be calling us with trade proposals every day. At the end of the day, you have five first-round picks over two years span, four of them top 12 picks. Do you feel pretty good about the young talent you've been able to amass through those picks at this point? I mean, time will tell how it all works out, but that's not very, very often do you get to you know, put together a group like that. Yeah, yeah, we feel really good. Last year we took two forwards, five and 12, and, and, and they're high-end high -end talents. Now we got two really good defensemen, and so you know we're filling out our depth chart, and, and we think our goaltending is in good shape, and, and we're going to keep improving. How many trade offers did you have on the dance tour tonight? No, we, we had quite a few, but you know, it was, at the end of the day, we, we decided we're going to stick with the picks, and, and we're happy that we did.